Hi everyone and welcome to the Dermal Hospital Recap for August 30th. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. This is the last mini upload. I'm officially all caught up up until today. At the Metro Court, Maxie smacks Nathan across the face and she slaps Amy too. She is out for blood because you know what? She is angry. Nathan pulls her into the room and Amy says that there's no affair. They were having a business meeting and Amy is kind of being nasty to Maxie too, but just a little bit. And Nathan tries to be diplomatic in the situation. Maxie brings up Ask Man Landers and she sees the cutout of Nathan and it's like, what's going on here? And just wants to leave because she's like, nope, this is too much. And Nathan's like, look, there's no affair, but I have been lying to you. And Amy kind of gives him her blessing to tell Maxie what's going on. He explains everything. He tells her about Amy's brother. Maxie does remember him from high school. Amy says that he wrecked his knee and was injured in Afghanistan. Maxie she didn't know that. Amy says that she needed money after their mom died. She talks about the blog that she made. She couldn't reveal who she really was and she asked Nathan to pose as Ask Man Landers once the blog had taken off and then they fill in the rest of present day. And Amy does make nice by the end of it. Maxie forgives Nathan, but he has a lot of explaining that still needs to be done. And Amy asks Maxie if she'll consider not unmasking Ask Man Landers. Everything seems to be smoothing over. Who gave what advice? Amy was the give it all up for love advice. And Maxie tells her that that really was great advice. Amy leaves and Maxie asks Nathan why he didn't tell her. In Morocco, hey, Anina is at tea with an official apparently. Nell and Dylan are trying to figure this shoot out. Nell and Dylan are setting it up. Nell is going to untangle and sort the jewelry and send one of the other coordinators, I think her name's Farah, to go get the models ready. She opens up a box with a beautiful like sapphire necklace and she puts it on because she can't help herself and Dylan wants her to wear it for test shots. Nell wants Dylan to delete the pictures he took of her and she talks about her past and why she resented Carly at first. It seemed like Carly had everything and she had nothing and how was that fair? She takes off the necklace and Dylan is taken to another room by a model. Valentine is the one who invited Nina to tea. Now's time for her answer, apparently. It's more important than work, apparently. She says no, work has to come first and he's like no, not today. They toast and she says they're not reconciled yet. He admits to his grand gesture here. He will prove to her that he knows what real love is and how much she means to him. She loves him, she wants to be with him. I wish it wasn't due to his manipulations, but that seems like what we're doing here. And she wants to be with him. Her eyes are wide open, she says, and she wants to be a family again. Valentine has the rings from her office. He took them to give them back to her. They're reunited and she's definitely not doing the work she came to Morocco to do, which was such an emergency, just saying. At the Metro Court restaurant, Jocelyn is there. She's happy and texting Oscar. Carly, why bird? Why are you by my thing? Carly had asked her to come down to the restaurant because she wants to talk to her about Sunny. Carly is working on not being so overprotective. Jocelyn is working on being more honest and Carly feels that, you know, she has to be honest too. She would like for them to move back in with Sonny and Avery. Carly thinks maybe since Sonny fixed his mistake with Jax that she could forgive him. Avery and Sonny miss them and Avery doesn't understand why they're gone. Jocelyn doesn't hate him and he's always been good to her. She gets the grieving and lashing out. She feels she's been doing it too and she also wants to stop. It's time to just be happy so yes she'll move back in. She wants to be a family again too and I'm just so happy that we're finally moving past all of this Nell drama. Carly is going to meet with Bobby. Jocelyn is going to work on school stuff. Carly feels she's getting over stuff and is being really positive and she's she's gonna put this Nell stuff aside she's just gonna be this new Carly at the floating rib Janelle Benson is Nell's real name and she's the primary suspect in her fiance's death what? didn't see that coming from a mile away well, her fiance Zachary Graham died a month before their wedding. They were on vacation in Maine. First mistake. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Maine. I'm just kidding. You vacation in New Jersey. That's a mistake. <laughs> His kayak capsized when a storm came in and Nell swears that she couldn't get to him on time and it sounds like an accident, but the police and his family didn't think so. The plug on the kayak was missing. It was apparently removed and it wasn't a rental. It was his own owned kayak and it was a top model because 
he was the son of wealthy parents. He had just recently changed his will before the wedding and made Nell the beneficiary, and it was for millions. So, this whole... Even when she was working with Carly and it was like, oh, this world is so foreign to me, it wasn't. Mm -mm. Nell planned the trip, and her fiancé had just signed all the paperwork before he died. There wasn't enough evidence to bring charges. Bobby brings up that Nell's always talking about how she doesn't have money. Apparently, the family is holding the will up in probate, so she won't get any of the money, and they want her in prison at the end of the day. Carly meets with Bobby. Carly doesn't want to know what Felicia found, but Bobby is scared for Michael. This isn't meddling. This is absolutely serious. At the five families meeting, Sam walks in on the shootout between Jason, Max, Sonny, and Petrov. Jason runs out in front of her and winds up getting shot in the chest, protecting her. Lots of falling to the ground in slow motion, very dramatically, by the way. Sonny shoots Petrov and refresh my memory. Was Sam ever like this? So reckless with him? Seriously? Like she knew he was worried that something might be going wrong and that's why Jason was going back. So why did she follow him? If she was okay with him going to the five families meeting to begin with, then why would she follow him here for part two? Like it feels a little out of character and just to make a certain storyline work, but that's just my opinion on that. Max calls the police. Sam is putting pressure on the wound. Sonny takes over. She talks to him. 10 minutes to the paramedics. Max is going outside so he can wave them down. Longest 10 minutes ever. Sam begs Jason to open his eyes and he does. Paramedics are here. Sonny takes Sam away so the paramedics can work on Jason. Dante and crew arrive. Uh, Dante wants a statement. Max is hesitant and then Sonny tells him to just go ahead. He says that Petrov held him hostage and threatened Sonny and that Petrov being shot was totally in self-defense and they all finish their statement and now end scene. Maxie asks if Nathan trusts her. He absolutely does and he's decided that he's going to move to Portland and she's like, that sounds great, but I'm moving back here so I'm going to miss you. <laughs> and it turns out she quit her job. She's home for good and then it finally hits him that she's home for good. Felicia confronts Amy and Amy's like, look, it's not what you think. Maxie knows and accepts what's going on. Nina gets a call and she's currently, you know, not at her job where she's supposed to be. She is off having tea with an official. That's what the kids are calling it these days. And it turns out there's a problem. The sapphire necklace is missing. Dylan didn't delete the Nell pictures. She really wants him to delete them though. Bobby tells Carly to brace herself for what she's about to tell her. And Jason tells Sam that he's sorry while they're wheeling him out. So... Uh, that is it for the 30th General Hospital. I will get back to you in two seconds. Let's do this. Finals plush, right? Okay. I uh, will see you in two seconds and have a great two seconds. All right. Bye.